All right, folks, here's the back end of the story. Yesterday it was plowing, and uh, I got the, the uh, Massey stuck. And I'll tell you what was going on. I was using the Massey instead of the TYM because the TYM has a, a, a problem. Um, talking to the dealership, they think they may have, it may have ingested snow in the uh, air filter, which causes the surface of the air filter to not flow air, so we have to get the air filter out. Problem is the friggin' hood's frozen shut. So we're working on that. Um, I had the snowblower back there to clean the wood lane out. And now the problem with the Massey is it don't want to start because uh, we got a bad connection. These connections are old. I don't think any of this has been touched since the day it was put together. But uh, what we got here on the starter um, is bad connections and I can tell you how I know those are bad connections is because when you crank over it smokes the other problem is the Rotella 1540 does not like to turn it's minus 20 out I don't know what the low was all night but it was down there and uh, so we have a problem with uh, definitely frozen oil so I'm gonna pull all these connections off I'm gonna to use mr. scratchy to clean them up and see what we can get um, if you look here these are really old look at the corrosion uh, I'm gonna try and pull them without breaking anything that's the key so I got lots of penetrating oil good old WD panther piss on there and uh, we're gonna see if that works so <clears throat> I've sprayed this one already and you can see lots that's nice right so that's already look at that so there's a lot of uh, fields of thought on wd-40 we're penetrating well you take stuff apart you don't need it because it doesn't do anything but in all my years of doing mechanical things um, it does work so i'm gonna scratchy this thing up real good and uh See if we can get some get some bright going on there. Uh, that's the stainless steel wire brush. And I'm gonna use it for welding. Jake, come over here, will you? Yeah. There, I'm starting to see some nice brightness there. Come over to my right side. Hold the camera and focus it on the uh, on that terminal. I need two hands to do this, so I'm going to take this guy here and I'm going to brighten it up because, like I said, I don't think this has been touched since for a very, very, very long time. And then I'll do the bottom side. Some sort of shitty heat shrink, it's falling off. Maybe the connection's not as old as I think it is. It looks pretty fucking pretty factory though. Okay. We're trying to get ultimate voltage to the uh to the starter motor which is going to help us turn over better and i know for a fact that this guy here was smoking because i saw it smoke it's a wrench wrenches in my pocket because it's been snow now these are the ones that i'm really foot really worried about i gotta be freaking careful Oh, she's seized up. Let's see. Oh, there we go. So what I'm doing now, I got it to break free. I'm just going to wiggle it. I'm going to bump it further and further each time. Okay? Because I don't want to strip out the terminal. Let me have that 
grab the pan, the WD-40. So as you can see, I'm just bumping this because I'm trying to work the rust out of it. Okay, she's coming pretty good now. Let me see that, Jake. So I'll give her an extra shot. Okay, here. And I'm going to continue on doing I'm going to bore you guys with this. But this is what I'm doing. I'll show you. I'll come back to it when I'm done. Um, but this is the first step in cleaning 60-year-old uh, connections. 70-year-old, I don't know. Look at these things. These connections are old. Now, this is uh, my bad. This should have been done a long time ago. And it should have been done by me as soon as we bought the tractor. And it was always in the back of my mind to do it. Well, here we go. This is what happens when you uh, don't listen to your little voice and you put things off for another day. Another day is here and we can't start the tractor. And that's a problem because we can't get the wood out. And the other problem with this, this janky setup, i got to find a cable, is the, uh, I don't know why, they grounded the ground wire to the, to the sheet metal, which was kind of dumb. It needs to go to the block. It needs to go right here. So that's a change we'll be making. We'll be putting a ground wire on the block. I don't know if I can do it today. If I can, I will. If I can't, I won't. So here we go. I'm going to continue on with the electrical repairs on the Massey, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, see you soon. Oh, yeah, while, while you're waiting for me to get back on, um, can you please hit the like button? Like, 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 like. If you like the videos, like. I know a lot of you guys watch the videos and you don't subscribe. The subscribership helps me, helps the, the, the channel grow. And please, 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 if you can, uh, leave comments if you like. Tell me what you think I'm doing wrong. Tell me what you think I did right. I don't care. Leave comments, but hit the like button either way, and that helps the channel grow. Okay, be back in a bit. All right, friends. So I took everything apart using whatever was still there and tried to put it all back together again, and it just turned into complete junk. So what I had to do was root through all my stuff and try to find some flat washers and some nuts. Ah, uh, yeah, so that turned out okay. Uh, this cable's complete junk. Green on both ends, so I'm making up a new cable right here. Uh, this is two, uh, two, two gauge welding cable. It's all I had in stock, but one end was nicely done. Um, I'm gonna relocate the ground because it was on the sheet metal dashboard. It's right here. That's the ground. I don't like it. I don't like why you try to pull 350, 400 amps of cranking power through sheet metal. So it's going on the engine block. And the strangest thing, you know, guys, is there is a brass nut right here on the block. And that's the nut right there. You see the brass? That big nut. So I just got to make the hole in the cable a little bit larger. So when I cleaned it all, put it back together, what happened was it just low cranking speed and smoke uh, coming out of the, mostly off of the starter solenoid. Yeah, you can see the wire is complete. The wire is dinked. I'm going to make a new wire harness. So that'll be the project, uh, the up and coming project for the summertime when it warms up. It's about minus 12 right now, so it is a bit cold. Um, I didn't run down the hill or nothing, run to the store. I'm doing everything with it all I got on hand. You can see the condition of how rusty everything is. So I'm going to put the bat, get the cat battery cables ready and hopefully, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be able to get her started. Uh, hopefully it'll turn over better. So that's going to be the new ground point right here on this stud, which is right next to the starter. So that should give us the best chance at having full voltage and good current, good amperage to the battery. So I'll show you that when it's done. Uh, the positive side's all done. The wire from the solenoid down to the starter motor's done. So hopefully, because when I put this back together after I cleaned it, it didn't even work and I had to loosen this lead off and wiggle it around. So that wasn't encouraging at all, but that's what happens, right? You, this, is, this is original part. So 1956 this was installed. Everything on here that you see is original. So yeah, it's not in the greatest of shape. This wire here, which is the power feed up to the ignition, very brittle. So all this is going to get cleaned up. So anyway, I'll get back uh, to getting this thing going. Uh, I'm going to change some wiring and see what, or sorry, 
get those battery cables done and see what uh, see what that brings us. So as you can see, we're out here working in the snow, and uh, we'll get her. So I'll be right back. Oh, she's back up and running. Uh, so got her stuck stalled. You can see it's stuck in here. We're gonna pull it out with the, the Chevy. Uh, yeah. So we end up changing two battery cables. We put this janky stuff on there. These will be temporary so we can get some more. Uh, I'll order up some number two battery cables. Relocated the ground to where the red one is there. I'll cut the red off so there's no confusion. This is a negative ground tractor. Fixed up all the joints. The crank's over better. I think the starter motor needs a rebuild. Uh, tighten the fan bolt so we get a better charge. With a little bit of a little bit of a bitch to get it started. We had to run some ether in her just to get her to light off. Uh, she's okay now. The fuel line was frozen, so I'm gonna have to get some fuel line, uh, yeah, some gas line antifreeze. Uh, so there you go, Massey Ferguson, 1956, Ferguson 35, the Massey Field Electrical Repairs. Uh, these are by all no, by by no means what you would. Uh, uh, other than getting it up and running because we got to have the truck uh, we got to have the truck or sorry the tractor so we can dig out some more firewood uh, whew, I'm out of breath so this is something that should have took I don't know I got out here at 9.30 now 1.30 so decking around trying to get the uh, downhill so we're gonna get the strap set up pull this thing out of this I'm surprised it got stuck in here there's nothing really here but a big belly of snow I guess so anyway we'll get her unstuck uh, the neutral safety switch this fro it keeps freezing up, so I'm assuming that that has something to do with the water. We're getting all the all the moisture we can out of the uh, out of the uh, transmission. Sorry, I just lost for thought. Anyway, I'm going to close this video out because I can't even think. Uh, 1540s too thick for this kind of climate too, because the the motor oil is like molasses. So I, I, I'm gonna see maybe I'll change oil. I've got a couple of spare filters. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I gotta get it warm anyway. Cause it doesn't crank over with a crap. Uh, it's not helping with that cold oil. Anyway, uh, we're gonna cut the video off now. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell. Hit those like buttons so the YouTube algorithms will look for us. Uh, that's what it's all about is uh, subscription and likes. And that's the way YouTube works. You gotta hit the like. If you don't hit the like button, well then you, we're not gonna be on. Like, it helps build the channel. So we can do a better job of bringing you better content. So I'm gonna pan away with a nice shot of the Massey Ferguson 35, Ferguson 35, whatever you wanna call it. Ah, uh, there she is. So we'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping in. Bye now.